My name is Jacob and I'm from the Opinton Congregation. Today's devotional's title is, What is your occupation? And the definition for the purpose of this devotion is, What occupies your time? So when I'm using the term occupation is, What occupies your time? The story begins with Joseph taking his brothers to meet up with Pharaoh. Joseph had prepped his brothers earlier to say, When you stand before Pharaoh, Pharaoh is going to ask you this question. What is your occupation? And this is the answer. When they gave that answer, Pharaoh said, I want you guys to have the best of the land. I want the best of you to be the chief of my herdsmen. What made the difference? Because Egyptians and, you know, shepherds, there was no mixture because they were like an abomination. What made the difference was the favor of Joseph. If we apply that to our lives today, Joseph represents the life of our Lord Jesus, that whenever we seek his favor, whenever his favor goes ahead of us, it makes the difference in our life. It's not based on our stature. It's not based on what we do or what we know. It is the favor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It was the favor of a Joseph that made the difference for his brothers. That was why they, were, they encountered the goodness of Pharaoh. You might be listening to me to say, um, right now, what occupies my time? I'm not really proud of what I've done in the past or what I'm presently occupying my time with. Do not be afraid. Here is the word of the Lord to you. There was a man in the Bible called Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector. And if you were a tax collector, you were ostracized from society because you are deemed a traitor. You are deemed a traitor by your nation. But here comes Jesus. Jesus comes across Matthew and said, Matthew, follow me. And that began the whole journey of Matthew. Matthew, is, it got better for Matthew because Matthew became first a disciple. Then he became an apostle. Then the most important, he didn't, it did not end there, was the fact that Matthew's skills, the skills he used for serving the enemies, the Lord started using it for the purpose of the gospel. You might be thinking, what is that? If you open the first book of Matthew, the genealogy of Jesus Christ, when you see Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, somebody wrote that. And who wrote that? That was Matthew. Matthew's skill as an accountant, as a tax collector, as an auditor, the Lord Jesus used that to write out that beautiful piece every time we open the book of Matthew. So you see that the, the Lord can turn around situation. When we seek his favor, his favor allows us to be the very best that we can. Another set of people listening to me, you might be thinking that I currently like what I occupy my time with at the moment, but some days I don't feel like I'm enjoying it or what I occupy my time with. Do not be afraid. There was a man called Peter. Peter was a fisherman. Some days he was productive. Some days he was not. But every time he encountered Jesus, three different occasions, Jesus, when Jesus showed up, he was very productive. The first time it was recorded, he caught a net-breaking load of fish. Second time was after resurrection, when it was recorded that he caught 153 large fishes. You see how, you know, the favor of Jesus made a difference in Peter's life. Looking at the life of Peter, it did not, it not end there. On the day of Pentecost, the favor of Jesus on Peter's life, Peter now became a fisher of men. You see how it progresses? What makes the difference is the favor of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whenever we turn to him, whenever we do what he tells us to do, he makes a way where there seems to be no way. We go to show that the favor of Jesus brings, makes about a remarkable difference in our life. You might be thinking, I'm a mom, I'm a student, I'm retired, or I'm a teacher, I'm a banker. It doesn't matter who you are. Whatever you occupy your time with, whenever we seek the favor of our Lord Jesus, his favor will make a difference for us. That question, what occupies your time, is a life and death question because how we respond to Jesus is going to determine how effective we are for him because in his word he says, occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. Whenever we respond to him, his favor will make a difference for us. He will cause us to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion in whatever we do. 
remember the Lord Jesus makes a difference in our lives. The same way Joseph's brothers had a breakthrough when they stood before Pharaoh is the same way when we listen to our Lord Jesus, we will have we will have favor and will be fruitful in everything that we do. I hope this devotional has blessed you. Take care, church. God bless.